So you're thinking about moving to Saddlebrook Ranch near Tucson, Arizona, but you're not sure where to start? Well, in this video, we're gonna tell you a bit about Saddlebrook Ranch and show you some homes at different price points so you can get an idea as to what might best fit your needs and your budget. And if you stick around to the end, we'll show you something to do while you're out in the area. Let's get to it. If you're new to this channel and you want to learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Dustin Smith. My wife Jennifer and I have helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months, give us a call, shoot us a text or an email so we can help you make a smooth move. All right, let's talk a little bit about where Saddlebrook Ranch is and what Saddlebrook Ranch is. So Saddlebrook Ranch is located about 30 to 35 minutes north of Tucson or about 20 minutes north of Oro Valley. So the main highway that brings you up here is Oracle or the Highway 77. And don't confuse this with uh, the original Saddlebrook development. This is another few miles up the road and instead of being on the east end nestled against the Catalinas, it's gonna be uh, on the west in more of like a desert scenery. So if you're looking at Saddlebrook Ranch on the satellite image and you zoom out a bit, it's gonna seem kind of isolated. There's a lot of desert around, but the community does offer a lot of amenities. So you have what you need right here in Saddlebrook Ranch. The Saddlebrook Ranch is a Robeson Resort community. And there are a few different Robeson Resort communities around the Tucson area. If you've seen our Green Valley video, you might have noticed that we visited Quail Creek, another Robeson Resort community, or you may have even watched our Saddlebrook tour for the original Saddlebrook community as well. So once you visit one Robeson Resort community, you can see why these communities are so popular among retirees. They're generally just well cared for, perfectly planned, fun, active adult communities. Shadowbrook Ranch has tennis ball courts, a billiards room. It has uh, a nature walk, a dog park. If you're looking for a good place to work out, it has a beautiful indoor uh, fitness center as well as an indoor lap pool, beautiful outdoor pool. I should also mention it's home to the greater Tucson area's largest pickleball court facility with 24 courts. Uh, once you visit here, you can see why it's referred to as a resort community. Everything's in tip-top shape. You've got your palm trees, your mountain views, uh, your gorgeous sunsets, and just this perfect manicure throughout the community. And what's a resort without a golf course? Of course, Saddlebrook Ranch has a gorgeous, pristine, championship grade 18 hole golf course, complete with a driving range and a pro shop. So you'll see all the tee boxes around here are slightly elevated. You just have this perfect, pristine course to play golf on. And you're not too far away from the other Saddlebrook community if you want access to a few more courses. The three restaurants on site in Saddlebrook Ranch are quite impressive. I want to talk about my favorite right off the top, and that's going to be the Ranch House Grill and Brewery. So funny enough, that's actually that building behind me. Just the building alone is absolutely gorgeous. The staff is extremely helpful and the chefs in there make sure they play you a perfect meal pretty much every time. But of course I mentioned it is a grill and brewery and I can't think of any other 55 and over community that offers its own brewery. So the menu in there is food that really appeals to me. Jennifer would recommend the brisket sandwich to you. So if you stop by, if that's up your alley, give it a shot. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Also, there's Ed's Dogs, so that's hot dogs and hamburgers. You stop by there with a quick bite to eat. I mean, they're basically dog puns in there. Uh, so they are canine friendly. You can go sit out on the patio. It, it's seemingly like a, like a fast food type hot dog restaurant where you really are focused on kind of that outdoor space and outdoor seating. 
Um, and then there's also a bistro in the area. So those are kind of like grab and go meals. You've got breakfast burritos, bagels, or even a cup of coffee. So you've definitely got a few options right here and you're not limited. I mean, I've mentioned you're about 20 minutes away from Oro Valley. Oro Valley is one of the best places in the Tucson area to go find a good local restaurant. Saddlebrook Ranch is a newer community. I think the oldest homes that you're gonna find around here were built in 2010 and there's still a lot of new construction going on. So new construction homes uh, start off in the 400s and go over a million dollars in the area. If you're comparing this to the original Saddlebrook, you're gonna see the mountain views are actually quite different in here. Although the Catalinas absolutely look beautiful from here, the other Saddlebrook is basically at the foot of the Catalinas. So it's hard to find a home that doesn't have mountain views in that community. But anyways, let's go see what's on the market right now. The first neighborhood I'm showing you today is the villas over in Saddlebrook Ranch. So you see straight down the street behind me, those beautiful Catalina views. Um, this is basically one of the entry level neighborhoods to Saddlebrook Ranch. A lot of these are the uh, twin joined homes. So you'll share like um, a wall with the neighbors and a rooftop. Uh, typically that's going to be the garage that connects you to the neighbor so there's a buffer right there you hardly even remember that you're connected to the neighbors they're on smaller lots about a tenth of an acre so they're meant to be very very easy to care for um, so the home behind me that's currently for sale is listed at four hundred and nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars it's a two bedroom two bathroom 1500 square foot and it was built in 2022 and it's actually never been lived in. So it's still a brand new home. It has a lot of upgrades to it. Uh, the floor in the garage, when you go into the garage is actually epoxy coated. You have upgraded cabinets, a water filtration system, uh, walk-in shower, just a lot of like neat upgrades that the uh, previous buyer decided they wanted in the home. And then they decided they didn't want to move here. Uh, so you'll see a few things for sale in the $400,000 range throughout Saddlebrook. And you can expect that wherever you do see a home in Saddlebrook, in order to get people to move a little bit further away from the city, they give them these extra features. So let's go check out something in the $600,000 range to see what we can get there. So we made it to our $600,000 neighborhood. Right away, you'll notice we have a little more space in the front yards here. The houses are a little bit uh, further separated from another. Instead of being on a 10th of an acre, they're on about a third of an acre. Some of them have three car garages. Uh, in fact, this one behind me for sale right now at $624,000 has the three car garage, but one of them is also extended. So you have extra room for that golf cart. You might've noticed by now, a lot of people do commute through the community by golf carts um, at the clubhouses, the restaurants. They actually have a lot of golf cart parking right near the front. Uh, this house is 2,071 square foot two bedrooms, three bathrooms, has a lot of interior upgrades, just overall very nice. Being built in 2019, everything in it still seems like it's brand new. Uh, and a fun feature of it, the back patio actually has these motorized screens. So with a push of a button, you actually enclose the back patio and help keep those bugs at bay. Um, that's very useful in the summer. <laughs> we actually have some clients that moved into the neighborhood 
who decided they're only really gonna live here during the hotter times of the year. So they rent their house out for six months during the winter. Uh, there's a high demand for rental homes in the winter um, for snowboarding. So a lot of people actually come to Tucson to escape the colder weather of their hometown. So up here, you know, you're not gonna shovel any snow during the winter, so a huge benefit right there. So our clients have uh, figured, hey, well, you know, we're gonna leave for the winter. That's when we're gonna do our vacations and make a few bucks off of renting off our homes. So November right now, um, they're already in Mexico. They have someone staying in their home and they just get to party it up for the rest of the season. I do have one more neighborhood to show you, one more home. Let's get to it. All right, we've made it to our last neighborhood of the day, the million dollar neighborhood. So right away, you'll notice homes over here look a little bit larger. Well, you know, they are a little bit larger over here, but they also have more open space when you go to the backyard. So on this side of the road, we actually back up to the golf course. On the other side, we have a wide open desert area. So pretty much as far as the eye can see, and that's gonna provide you a lot of privacy. Uh, the house for sale right here is currently listed at $1,009,500 and it is just gorgeous inside and outside. Now, right when you walk in and you see the kitchen, you'll notice these double stacked alder cabinets, uh, very high end granite and a GE monogram appliance package uh, complete with a convection oven. So in there, you also have a butler's pantry. The butler's pantry has its own sink, wine fridge, walk-in pantry. The house is 2,968 square foot. It's got three bedrooms, four bathrooms, and just bumper to bumper, it has those high-end touches to it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the uh, Million Dollar Neighborhood and touring Saddlebrook Branch in general. And I did promise if you stuck around to the end, we'd go check out something to do in the area. So let's go do that. So if you're in the Saddlebrook Ranch area or Oracle, or pretty much anywhere in Tucson for that matter, Biosphere 2 is gonna pop up pretty high on the recommended places to visit. So yes, this is the Biosphere 2 that was made popular in the 90s when they basically sealed in a couple scientists to test the survivability of uh, living in a sealed environment. So they have a couple different, uh, couple different sealed areas that reflect different types of terrains around the world and it's now owned by the u of a so they continue doing studies here they also do tours pretty much daily or hourly tours and it can get booked up sometimes people arrive in large groups so i do recommend making a reservation before you come up here all right guys thanks for checking out something special um, we really hope that you enjoyed today's video and learning a little bit about Saddlebrook. If there's something that you know about Saddlebrook and would love to share and we forgot to cover it, let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, click subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. And if you or someone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or an email so we can help you make a smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. Thank you guys. See you on the next video.